Jackson Winnicky. I'm Caitlin Winnicky. And I'm Spencer Snyder. And this is our Applied Electromagnetics Experimental Demonstration on a Stepper Motor. So before we show our stepper motor, I'm just going to talk about the principles behind how it works. Stepper motors use electromagnets, which is a coil of wire wrapped around a core. The ends of the coils are connected to the voltage supply. The voltage supply provides a current, and the current creates a magnetic field around the coil. To calculate the magnetic field, we use Biot-Savart's law equation, which is shown here. Um, since this is differential magnetic field, we would need to integrate this equation over the entire current path to get the total magnetic field at a point. Um, to calculate the direction of the magnetic field, we use the right-hand rule. So wrap your fingers around the direction of current around the coil, and then your thumb will give you the direction of the magnetic field. To calculate the magnetic flux density, we use this equation. Um, where mu r is the relative permeability, which is dependent on the material used as the core. So using these two equations, we can see the magnetic field and flux density around the electromagnet shown in this figure. We can see that it acts as a bar magnet. So the stepper motor works by turning on and each of the electromagnets in sequence, turning them on and off. So the magnet or metal on the rotor will follow each of the electromagnets that's turned on, and which will cause it to spin. So in order to show how a stepper motor works, we incorporated the use of a compass as the rotor of our motor, is what we turned. Uh, for our stators, we used um, four bolts wrapped in magnetic wire. These are all hooked up to an Arduino microcontroller, which controls the pulsing of the stators, which helps the rotor turn. We also used uh, resistors and transistors to help switch in between uh, which electromagnetic would be turned on when. This is all connected uh, and powered by a 9 volt battery here. Here we have the stepper motor set to uh, turn around to each electromagnet for two seconds at a time. Notice so now I'm going to demonstrate the right hand rule. Using one solenoid connected to a battery, in this way the direction of current flows with my fingers and the magnetic field points with my thumb. So that's the direction the North Pole will point. I hook it up. When I switch the current, then we would expect the North Pole to point in the opposite direction. Now going back to our stepper motor setup, notice how fast the compass spins when it's connected. This is with a time of 400 milliseconds. So now we've increased the distance between the compass and each of the solenoids. So when I hook it up, it runs slower due to the beats of our law explained earlier. The magnetic field is has decreased because the distance has increased and the magnetic field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Initially we wanted to start out and make a more practical stepper motor. Here we made a design where we put a, uh, a lot of nuts are basically around a bearing and had our uh, stator set up in the exact same way as we did around the compass. However we could never get enough current uh, or magnetic force to uh, turn the stator this way. However, I can show you directly hooked up to two 9-volt batteries how it could possibly work. Notice right here I'm about to turn this one on and voila, it spins to the correct place. Stepper motors are very useful due to their high precision and reversibility. They're used in printers, shown in the figure circled, to move the ink cartridge back and forth, as well as scanners, floppy disk drives, and precision positioning equipment.